Hey, Kenny Art here. I am at the West Lake Boat Launch and we're going to go on a crazy lazy Silkus River trip. A geocaching event. A geocaching event sponsored by Sinlu7 here in Florence, Oregon. 19 people with 19 kayaks showed up here this morning to take the trip down the Silkus River. It's more than two miles from the boat launch here to the mouth of the Silkus River, which empties into the Pacific Ocean. After all 19 of us lined up for the group photo shoot, we all took off down the Silkus River. We're going to do a little geocaching along the way. There's about 10 geocaches that we can find. Some are brand new, some are a little bit older. Should prove to be a fun day for all of us. There's Sinlu7 and her green yak. Hi, Cindy. There were plenty of photos being taken by a lot of people today. Hi, Photo Master. The first part of the Silkus River goes through West Lake, and there are a lot of homes along the lake. They got their own little boat houses and docks. It's pretty cool. Then we came to the rope swing. Rega causing a disturbance in the forest. The younger crowd took full advantage of the rope swing, while the rest of us watched. Thanks for the entertainment, boys! Next, we stop to find a geocache called Rock Wall. Rega was the closest. He saw it, and then he had to get out of his kayak to get it. The Silkus Water Trail meanders its way through a coastal forest of spruce trees, huckleberries, and rhododendrons past sand dunes and tidal flats, marshlands, and then empties into the Pacific Ocean. The shore crew periodically taking photos of us all as we went by. Next, we stopped at a geocache called Hydrangeas and the Highway. I paddled up first, found the cache, and signed the log for everybody as Geo Navy. Yes, there are hydrangeas growing here. We crossed under the Pacific Coast Highway 101. Oregon Coast Sand Dunes.
Now it's time to go find the geocache called The Swamp. There's not much room back here for very many kayaks. Emily Renee makes the find and signs the log for everybody. The Geo Navy! The Silcoose River does have a dam on it, but there is a portage to get around the dam. Here's where you get a choice to walk your boat down the portage or ride the rails down the portage. I'm walking my boat. But there were those who chose to ride the rails! Rega rode the rails! Well, no one joined the flipper club at the portage. That's when you tip over in your kayak. However, a few minutes after leaving the dam, somebody did flip over. Next, it was off to find Geocache Silkoos River Trail number two. And then we arrived at the Great Sand Dune. where the younger crowd practiced the sport of sand dune kayak surfing. The rest of us just sat back and enjoyed the show.
Time for a break. About noon, we reached the picnic and rest area where some of us got out of our kayaks and used the facilities, while a few others continued on down the river. Next, we looked for a geocache called Floater. Emily Renee looks on while Photo Master tromps around in the brush up on the bank looking for the geocache. This is one of my geocaches. Next, we looked for a geocache called Stuck. And Emily Renee did get stuck. the first to find! Now it's time to move along down towards the marshland and the beach. Not all of us ventured this far. It did get a bit extreme down here on the beach with the wind and the sand blasting us. We ate a hurried lunch. We're at the beach! Exhausted from the trip, we all sat in the sun back by the picnic and rest area, recuperating. All in all, it was a great day. Thanks, Cindy, for putting on such a good geocaching and kayaking event. I hope you have enjoyed watching my video. If so, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you around.